Night weeks after a woman escaped a moving car on the highway, authorities say they've now arrested the man wanted for trafficking her. Yeah, they say that he brought her states away right here to South Florida against her will. NBC6's Ryan Nelson following the details of this arrest and joins us breaking down more details on what we know tonight. Ryan. Yes, investigators say that this woman was trapped in a life of sex slavery, and they say that Clements was beating her moments before she dove out of a moving car on the Dolphin Expressway. 31-year-old Monrico Clements of Maryland, arrested and charged with human trafficking and deriving support from the proceeds of prostitution. Clements was extradited to Miami-Dade County. These traffickers just view these victims as walking ATM machines. State Attorney Catherine Fernandez Rundle says law enforcement was first alerted to the victim in November. They say the victim jumped out of a moving car on the Dolphin Expressway while she was being beaten by Clements and say he brought her to Miami-Dade County to work as a prostitute. She jumped out of a moving car risking injury or death because she could not think of a better way to avoid the beating that she alleged Clemens was giving her because she did not want to engage in prostitution anymore. The state attorney's office says the 23-year-old victim met the suspect online in April in Maryland. They say Clemens and the victim started dating after he invited her to his rap show at a strip club in Baltimore. In a matter of weeks, investigators say the victim lost her job. And that's when they say Clements offered her fast money by working as a prostitute where he would broker the deals and give her drugs. Investigators say Clements, who goes by the rapper named K. Suisse, had his name and logo tattooed on the victim's body as a sign of ownership. The subject told the victim that he knew a way, he knew a way for her to make fast money. She would perform all this sex. The subject kept all the money from the prostitution dates. They say the victim spent several months as Clement's sex slave, forced into prostitution, but never seeing a dime of the money. Before jumping out of the moving car on the Dolphin Expressway in November, investigators say she reached out to family for help, which led to a Florida City Police Department investigation, and say that sparked the beating at the hands of Clement's in the car in November. This is what eventually led to our victim leaping from the vehicle and coming to the police attention. And the state attorney's office says at any point, if you have a tip about human trafficking, well, you can reach out to that task force. That is 305 Fix Stop. Tonight, Clements is being held in jail on $45,000 bond. Ryan Nelson, NBC6 News.